All right guys, what's up everyone? So it's good to see everyone right now. I actually just got off work. I'm about to head out to church. One thing I wanna talk about right now is this. Even after coding for three years, one thing that I've learned is that you will never know enough code for the job you're trying to get. That's the truth. Come on, Chris, now you're discouraging me. Now you're telling me I'll never know enough code for a job, then why are you making these videos? Why are you encouraging us to even learn code in the first place? I know. <laughs> the reason I'm sharing this is because to be honest, even after programming for the last three years, and even as I got to the point uh, where I am right now, to this day, I still don't feel like I know enough. Which is really interesting, and some people will be like, Chris, you've been programming for three years, you know more than me. Yeah, I better know more than you. But what's even more funny is that I talk to people who've been coding for 12 years, and you know what they tell me? They still don't know enough. I was speaking to a senior web developer who's been a senior developer at Amazon, who's been at Amazon for like more than five years already, and even he tells me he still feels like he doesn't know enough. And he's like a hundred times better than me at coding. And the reason I wanna make this video is because I know people get discouraged. I know people will feel like I still don't know enough to get that job. The point I'm trying to get at is this. You will never know enough for the job you're doing until you get the job. And even to be even more honest, so even when you get your first job as a developer, you still won't know enough. Because what you can learn on your own, what is really interesting is that I know like, I know people like me, I put months and months of studying before I got my first job. Some people put years of effort and work before they get the job. But what you're able to teach yourself compared to what you will learn at a real life job, like it's not even comparable. I was learning HTML and CSS for three months, and then I got my job at my first company. Literally for the first one or three months while I was working there, I was learning on treehouse.com, right? I became a developer three months. People were always saying, Chris, you're so amazing. Not many people can do that, and it's true, not many people can. But one thing to really point out and note is the fact that even when I got my job, I still did not know enough to do the job. Even to the point that when the CEO would walk behind me at my first job, they'd be like, what are you doing, Chris? Oh, I'm just learning HTML and CSS on Treehouse. Oh, I'm just learning some JavaScript. And so even when I learned JavaScript, yes, I learned a Treehouse, but I learned even more JavaScript on the job. And so what I'm trying to get at is that, yes, you're gonna spend a lot of time learning code, but sometimes I think people get way too hard on themselves thinking, why don't I know enough? The hard cold truth is that you will never know enough until you get that job. I was, I was speaking to someone the other day and he was telling me how he was at this one company for about six months, but already within those six months, he already knew enough at the company to the point where he thought he can't learn anymore. So what did he do? He taught himself code outside of work so that he could get another job where he could learn more code. And what happened? He moved on to another company. Then he moved on to another company. Then he moved on to another company as it kept getting better. But why they kept getting better? Because he kept getting better jobs. And I don't mean pay. Yes, he got better at pay, but he kept getting harder jobs. Jobs that would challenge him more. Jobs that would push him more. What you will learn at a company, and in regards to how much it can push you, like it, it doesn't even compare to what you learn on your own. Like what you learn on your own is like nothing. It's the basics, it's the foundation. But when you start working on real life projects, man, your skills will increase. Like I thought I knew a lot of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for my first job. Dang. Now I was, I was at that job for almost two years, right? When I got my new job where I'm at right now, like the HTML and CSS that we're working on now compared to my last one is insane. The code base is larger. The, the problems are more difficult. I'm working with professional designs that I need to replicate with code and make sure that works perfectly on all browsers, which is really difficult, man. Now I'm way better now because of what I do here. But even after professionally coding for two years, I still did not know enough to be the best developer at Entrepreneur where I'm at right now. But now I'm learning more. I know 10 times more than I did in my last job. Why? Because I'm learning things that I've never done before. And that's what a job does, is that it makes you do things that you can't do. And you're forced to do it because they're paying you to do it, you know? Um, so don't be too hard on yourselves, man. Like, it's insane. Actually, uh, I'm learning PHP. I want to be a full stack developer. I went back in Team Treehouse. And what is insane is that when I look at my progress in the last three years as a developer, you can only think how well you are, right? You don't really know how well you are until you go back to this content I looked at years ago. And I remember going through the PHP course and I could not understand anything. What the heck is concatenating things? What, how, what, what the heck is a variable? I don't function, loops, and everything. Um, and now that I go back to Treehouse and I'm going through the basic PHP course, right now I'm flying through these courses I sometimes I won't even watch a full video because I already know it it's not that I work at PHP every day I'm not a PHP developer I'm a front-end developer right but because I work with JavaScript so often because I, I can understand programming at least from up to what I know now going through these basic courses is easy but what's crazy is that it took me three years to get to where I'm at now I didn't know what I knew when I first started coding but that's fine and I still don't know much at all 
but I'm pushing myself. I know I'll eventually get better and that will be you as well. You'll never know enough, man, but just keep pushing. Anyways, that was a lot of talking. I hope this video helped you out. I don't know how long this video will be, man, but I gotta head out to church. But thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I can't wait to see you guys again in the next video. This is Krishan, this is Life of Developer, and I'm out. Peace.